How many hundreds of Raja Gopis didn't I see under the shade of the Kadamba tree on the bank of the Yamuna on the day I subdued the Kaliya snake? Perhaps we should also invest in this item. Krishna mm -hmm. was hero, subdued Kaliya snake, strong, dancing on her heads. And all the gopis were there, shivering, fevering, uh, being anxious. <gasps> Does he win? <sighs> Perhaps <laughs> excited. It was dramatically. And Krishna was victorious. <laughs> and, it, and he was able to see all the gopis, although he was fighting with Kaliya snake. <laughs> How many millions of gopis? And, and Krishna subdued the Kaliya snake. I tell you, friend Shubal, then I was so startled that I didn't know whether it was day or night. Krishna, <laughs> who knows everything, is also enchanted doesn't know, day or night. <laughs> Amongst all these many hundreds of Raja Gopis, there were about two or four jewel-like girls. And among them, there was again one particularly mind-enchanting girl. Verzaubern. Den Geist verzaubernd. So, so David, um, um, yes, there, there is again some things to say. So, um, We, we remember yesterday that Gurudev said that when he get the mercy of his spiritual master, he didn't know anymore if it's day or not. Oh, yeah. If he hit salt or not salty, and if he washed the hand or not. And even more, he didn't exist for this material existence anymore. So it was Kripa of Guruji, or Param Guruji. So... Um, We must die, I'm just repeating the word of Gurudev, what he said also yesterday. We must die to be born again. Uh, this ego must die first, <clears throat> but it cannot die just like that. After that, otherwise we are died, dead, dead. So we must first to be born in the spiritual body and after that we can live <laughs> this material body and we continue to live. <laughs> So, this is also interesting that here is uh, after Krishna fall in love, after um, sub submused, subdued. subdued the Kali. Kaliya. And uh, um, there's many stories about uh, Krishna when he fighting with the most demons in Braja. And uh, Kaliya is connected with fell false ego. We know that, uh -huh. we know that uh, Kaliya Uh, he had many, many heads, mm -hmm. and from each of in them, uh, he mm, uh, poison. <sighs> he had very strong poison, so poison which uh, uh, completely make that we become paralyzed mm. in this material world. We are paralyzed. We just <laughs> so, uh, so only after that. Um, This also symbol of Kaliya is that uh, it's, it's a big snake with many hands, with many, uh, sorry, yeah, heads. Yeah. Sorry, my English, but... Uh, and uh, we know also that in mythology always there is, there is a similar mm -hmm. creature. When you cut them one head, it's immediately come two other heads. So it's not possible to deal with Anartas. <laughs> they are just multiplicate. There is no chance, actually. Like Gurudev often said, we are not, only one Buddha can completely destroy your life. 
No, when you become mad, what to say about uh, eight Buddha? We have eight Buddha, Kama, Kroda, and uh, so on. So it, it is not possible. We can only wait uh, the Kripas, Kripa, mercy, mercy of Gurudev. And uh, I think that this is, is not, nothing is uh, by, um, uh, how is that? Uh, that is uh, for sure. Um, it's a deep meaning. Deep meaning in this. Why is Kaliya before uh, this? Yes. So, before this moment. This moment, yeah. Wow. <coughs> what I heard now and understood is that Krishna is destroying our ego and he is the only one who can do this. And they are one. Not like Krishna. Perhaps it, Krishna is not destroying our ego, but Krishna is victorious over the ego, always. He is dancing on the head of Kaliya snake, yeah. but it is my process to deal with my ego and to get it calm, peaceful, and uh, use it for my spiritual progression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's my job, not Krishna's, yeah. but, but Krishna is always victorious. Yeah. But have I the power myself to do it? I think not alone. No. We need Kripa. This Mohan, Guru Kripa. Yes, as he said. This is what what means this picture, you say, the symbol of Kaliya. I understood or not? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that my uh, my knowledge is not so complete, but uh, a few things I know that Bhaktivino Thakur, he mentioned uh, in relation of all these uh, Leelas when Krishna uh, mm, fight? fight with demons and, of course, kill them. Uh, mm, that uh, all of all these uh, represent some anartha of us. And there is only two of them, uh, so maybe I, I can see today uh, uh, which are. Um, uh, but actually it's like that, that uh, these uh, anarthas uh, or these demons uh, which are killed by Krishna uh, are an artha, uh, when where we need mercy. We cannot do anything about that. Yeah. But uh, where, uh, um, there is also two demons who, who are killed by um, Balaram, and this an artha, we should also make our efforts. I mean, we, we should always make our effort in the sense that we must be aware and conscious of that, to a little bit, to be conscious that they are here. Mm. So, uh, I don't know if you remember, if you were reading, uh, when this Leela with Krishna is going, Krishna is just dancing. Uh, this is terrible uh, demon snake, but he just danced, he joked with him uh, by stay, stepping, stepping on the head of all this... Uh, he had many heads, and he, ju he was just use, using his head like a... a floor. Like for dancing, for dancing, right? <laughs> so he was dancing so fastly he didn't get, uh, couldn't catch him, and after that he was just exhausted completely, Kalia, and he was ready to kill him. But the woman of Kalia, they make the prayers, mm -hmm. such nice prayers, and they he uh, he he said, okay, I will leave him, but he must go. And never come in this. Uh, <laughs> so he's in, still in life, Kaliya. Mm -hmm. So our ego, false ego, is still there, but is sub submissive and he take the lotus feet of Krishna. So he's transformed. Oh. He's just a, not wild dog anymore, wild tiger, but is uh, a domesticate. Mm -hmm. uh, I think. To, to overcome uh, our false ego. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita is sung by Krishna personally to Arjuna. There the process is described, step by step. It is necessary the mercy of Gurudev yes. uh, to, to, uh, who, who will give us the real ego, our Swarup. 
If you see in material world, everybody, psychologists, they speak always about false ego, false ego, false ego, you should, but there is no alternative for that. So we always hear false ego, but we don't know anything about the real ego. That's it. <laughs> That's so, good, yeah. so what uh, this book is, is speaking uh, to us about real ego. So because of that, we, if we are absorbed here, we have all sensation uh, from the... From uh, from we, we, we can have from the bhajan. So this is bhajan for us. <laughs> to have some experience, <coughs> because we cannot uh, go out of false ego if we don't have some experience. So yes. they give us their experience, and yes. we we can taste some of this experience. It's our mind. It become us, and we 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 meditate on experience which are not us. So they are like like uh, uh, like we are like baby which we cannot eat. So they bring us food. So even <laughs> with us energy, spiritual energy that we can grow in our spiritual intelligence, spiritual uh, thoughts, and that spiritual body can grow. This uh, I repeat this. Yes. Krishna then told his friend Subal, How many hundreds of Raja Gopis didn't I see under the shade of the Kandamma tree on the bank of the Yamuna on the day I subdued the Kaliya snake? I tell you, friend Subal. Then I was so startled. <coughs> What it means? Uh, shivering. Shaking. Shaking. Uh -huh. <coughs> Excited. <laughs> wow. I didn't know whether it was day or night. Amongst all these gopis, there were about two or four jewel like girls. <laughs> two, or <four. laughs> two or four. See, this is the nature of Krishna also. It's And among them, there was again one particularly mind-enchanting girl. She entered my mind and the resultant smoke of Cupid did not allow me to sleep anymore. I am now constantly meditating on her. Who knows how the pain of separation feels? My body becomes skinned and weaker every day. Govinda Das says, such are the ways of new young love. There is said here, my body becomes skinner and weaker <coughs> every day. <coughs> Uh, we, we, even even Krishna uh, don't take care. He 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 can see only only Radha, <coughs> and we can see that also when it describe uh, life of Raguna Das Goswami, he also in he become also skinner. In in the end, he even even didn't eat anymore. So it is such a such a absorption and uh, we are completely in new ego so we cannot even it's what's very secondary uh, but also important for us because from this body we can do bhajan Srimati showed similar loving attachment when she first saw Shyamasundra Mohan. There's a quotation. When I saw the crown jewel of lovers, I did not know anymore whether it was night or day because of my ecstasy. Who can I tell about my heartache? 
Osaki, what more do you want to know? I told you what is on my heart. When, when he will meet me, then I will feel fulfilled. And if not, then I cannot live anymore. This is definite. Perhaps again? Still? Yes. Mm. Uh, we, uh, um, maybe also, maybe we can... Step aside. Uh, if, if I can also interrupt you sometime. Yes. Just to say, and, and after we can again, we can read again and again. To, yes, to, yes. To go inside. He says before, before when Krishna was speaking, that uh, she, when is this? Aha, her. I'm now constantly meditating on her who knows how the pain of separation feels. So sure. only her knows how deep is feeling of separation because he has the biggest love. He's the goddess of love. And now here we see Uh, what uh, he, he, she said uh, to whom I can <coughs> to, said, to, to whom I can say about this mm -hmm. who can who can I tell about my heritage no it means to whom I can uh, speak about, about my uh, then there is nobody only one Radhika only one is yes. only one son is so, but we know that she have somebody to whom can speak and there are manjaris who are actually not different from they are part of this body but they are not radhika and they feel only only they can feel what she feels so she can speak actually intimately only only to manjaris the the friend her friends cannot even understand cannot arrive on that, even if they are uh, also embodiment of love, but not like Radhika. He has full power of love. Let's read it again. Yes. Srimati showed similar loving attachment when she first saw Shyamasundara. She says, when I saw This crown jewel of lovers. I did not know any more whether it was night or day. So the same yes. symptoms. Same <laughs> symptoms. Uh, the symptoms of of love will be always the same. Yes, of this ecstasy, losing the orientation. Who can I tell about my heartache? Usaki, what more do you want to know? I told you what's on my heart. When he will meet me, then I will feel fulfilled. And if not, then I cannot live anymore. This is definite. He said, she said, you know, who can I tell about my heart, heartache? Heartache, pain, pain yeah. Heart attack, <laughs> heartache. <laughs> oh, Saki, what more do you want to know? What more you, do you want to know? How, how I can explain something what we, we uh, listened to Kesha Baba yesterday. He said, how is it possible to explain the the feelings and how it looks ra Radhika. It's not possible, like in the same way, like it's not possible to explain the taste of gulab jamun to someone who, who didn't taste it. He will do many, uh, many um, questions and questions of this person will never stop. 
how is it is like that it is like that and after explaining he will next day again ask and all life will ask will ask will ask so but from the moment if he only taste he will never ask because he know everything before he don't know nothing but after you know everything so only only way is our bhajan like Kesha Baba said also but it's not uh, the cheap uh, he's in the school of Babas so he know that uh, is also a hard work there they chanting he, he chanting six lakh a day and he's always relaxed you, you see him relax because he making also other service so is we cannot imagine this we don't have money to pay actually we, we don't have uh, this bank account spiritual to pay such a, a precious and value jewel and still we are here to beg beg uh, borrow or some we are here in Vrindavan in the front of of Radhika's door and we are begging and we are waiting that she will open to us but only by staying here because she is embodiment of love she have natural natural uh, symptom of, of Kripa so she will accept us for sure and we know that and because we are here even if we don't have any any money any money in our bank account we are in Vegas. red right <laughs> down, even down yes but uh, Guru Dev make for us this count account count account Prabhupada yeah. often said that uh, I I make for you actually uh, we don't <laughs> they make for us yeah. okay okay I give in your pocket okay so what Raguna does Goswami also uh, Baba now what what they do they give us this spiritual money in our pocket just please take take like father doing is even better like mother doing <laughs> Completely, completely by Kripa, only Kripa. So we don't have no, anything else but, but Kripa. For Sri Radhika, it is on razor's edge. Whether I will meet him, then my feelings are fulfilled. And if not, I can't live anymore. Razor's edge. So dramatically. All or nothing. And only all. All meeting. All being together with him. All presenting him, her love, her feelings, her beauty, her side glance. Only for him. And if she isn't allowed to give him this, this pleasure, her life doesn't have any sense anymore. And in this moment she knows. <clears throat> She's completely depending on him. She makes her self um, abhängig. She, it isn't in her hand anymore. It is in Krishna's hand. If you fulfill my wishes, yes, and if not, okay, I accept. But I, then I can't be alive anymore. Dependent. Her... Dependent, yes. She makes herself completely dependent. Completely. Mm -hmm. But oh. in her, her case, Krishna will certainly came because he is attracted more than, more with uh, ma magnet, uh, pa magnet of giving is more attractive for the magnet of who, which want to be uh, the, the, the relish, relish. So Krishna desires for relishing 
is uh, more weak, we can say, in the um, radical desire to giving is more stronger. So Krishna will always be this, which will come to her. So in this case, uh, just me. <laughs> yes, but in this moment, Radhika doesn't know. For her, it is. <laughs> Sensation is, is, is that, yeah. Maximum. The sack is like Lalita and Vishaka are getting more ecstasy from establishing the meeting of the Ananga, Anuraga, Eager, Cupid, Radha and Madhava than from meeting this Krishna themselves. And in this way their love has become known as Tat Bhava, Bhava Chatmika Bhava Chatmika love so we read this again. The Sakis, like Lalita and Vishaka, are getting more ecstasy from establishing the meeting of the Anuragi, Eager, Cupid, Radha and Madhava. Couple. Couple, sorry. They are um, getting more ecstasy from establishing the meeting of the Anuraga, Iga, Kapil, Radha and Madhava, then they get ecstasy from meeting with Krishna themselves. And in this way, their love has become known as Tat Ba Vachatmika love. Now for this explaining, we are we, uh, missing uh, Jaina and the Prabhu? <coughs> yes. <laughs> but here is just to show briefly, we, actually we know that, no? That uh, Lalita and Vishaka, they are particular type of gopi, which have uh, the same uh, attraction for Radha and for Krishna, but more for Radha, and there is said they, they uh, feel strong attraction, even more, to, uh, to arrange meeting with Radha and Krishna than for themselves. But th still they are gopi, but with slightly more attraction for the meeting to, Ra to Radha and Krishna together. Like Manjari have a hundred percent, only only this feeling. So Ragini, Ragi, Anuragini, is called Anuragini. Anuragi, uh -huh. Uh -huh. meeting of the Anuragi eager couple Radha and Madhava. I have a fresh one. Raga is meeting and Anuraga, I know Anuragini. Ever fresh. It's ever fresh meeting of Radha and Krishna. Anuragini. Anuragini. Uh -huh. okay. Ever fresh. Ever fresh. Okay. Ever fresh. Uh -huh. Still, Sri Radha sometimes desires to give them the position of Naika. Naika, of lady love of Krishna. But although the Manjaris are also a kind of Saki, they never accept such a role. Never. Never. <laughs> The manjaris, the buds, enhance the beauty of a flower, the gopi, but are never separately enjoyable to the black bee Krishna. Lalita and the Sakis have some sneha, equal love for Radha and Krishna, but the Manjaris are Radha Snehadika. They have more love for Radhika. 
This kind of love is called Babulasa. I, uh, sorry, I, I remember in the uh, one uh, lecture of uh, Vinod Baba, which I was mercifully translated from an Italian devotee who know Hindi. He said, uh, he said, if uh, Radha will adore one stone, this stone will be uh, most uh, dear to Manjaris because Radhika adorned this stone. So if it will be stone in the place of <laughs> Krishna, <laughs> they will be the, they will, they will have the same feeling. So we can see that actually he, he is com- sh- uh, they are completely uh, separate, different, dif- different uh, type of uh, gopis. Yes. They're very particular, very particular, and uh, only by who is living and who is in this Swarup Manjari we can understand something. Otherwise, it's completely unknown for us. Perhaps we should read the words. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And, and also again, again, this. Oh, goddess. I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant obeisances to the idea of becoming your friend, but I really relish the idea of becoming your maidservant. Now, this is part of commentary. The Sakis, like Lalita and Vishaka, are getting more ecstasy from establishing the meeting of the Anuragi eager couple Radha and Madhava than from meeting with Krishna themselves. And in this way, their love has become known as Tat Bhavachatvika love. Still, Sri Radha sometimes desires to give them the position of Naikya, of lady love of Krishna. But although the Manjaris are also a kind of Saki, they never accept such a role. The Manjaris, the Bats, enhance the beauty of a flower of the Gopi. But are never separately enjoyable to the black bee Krishna. Lalita and the Sakis have some sneha, equal love for Radha and Krishna. But the Manjaris are Radha Snehadika. They have more love for Sri Radha. This kind of love is called Babulasa. There is one mention, relish, relish. So Rad, Lalita and Vishaka, they more relish, no? The, the meeting of Radha and Krishna then separately. Mm-hmm. And in the verse, that also is mentioned, no? But I really relish, relish the idea of becoming your maidservant. Relish. So there is again this Gulab Jama. They relish. <laughs> They are buds, so they are. Um, they have everything what have others gopis. So they are just like a flower. They are flower, but only because this flower is close. Is close, close for Krishna. Concentrated, right, right. Mm. concentrated also, and uh, it relish more than than open flower. So this is also in connection with hidden path of devotion. We always. And especially Manjari Bhav, which is said, when it's hidden, we can relish the more. We can really, uh, it's, it's really hidden. Hidden inside of our, our heart. And uh, uh, sadhus like Keshav Baba, they will say it oftenly, 
One Baba will never open to you your heart. He, you will never understand what he is doing. You will see that he doing something else completely, because he he take hidden this. And Guru Dev openly encourage us to uh, to hide our devotion. It's not necessary. It's not to the other knows that. Even if you explain, they will not understand. So it gets what? weaker. And become weaker, yes. yes. But, but uh, when uh, Keshava explained, Keshava Baba explained one time, but when he see the one person very eager, very eager in this path, uh, their Kripa is awaking and they, and they will do uh, they will explain something for to, to to help this person. They cannot because they are embodiment of Radhika, so they cannot tolerate uh, um, suffering of others, and they cannot tolerate to not help. You know, like a mother cannot tolerate uh, that the child is uh, has some problems. He, she will immediately uh, uh, react. So uh, this and. Is, also, the process of all sharing and Gurudev does encourage us to share. And he yesterday said, if you share, then you can dive in. If only one person is speaking, then it is philosophy. So, although, yes, it is my really, really, really intimate personal process, but we are encouraging us each other to to be in this mood, to dive in, to get more and more facets and nuances and fragrances of this this enchanting. No, because we are here for relish, relish. It's not that everybody must to say something. So uh, it's not like that. It's, it's just that uh, we are we are inspired. Something come from us, and we uh, try to illuminate each other because everyone everybody have to say, say something if everybody of, of uh, present here will say something uh, in, in the moment when he's inspired no it is it will be illuminated for everyone and it's like this is growing it's growing yes. it's growing it's growing and when there a uh, person like Goranga Sundara which I like so much I, I like just to hear him because he all he has what what to say, no, and just following, is he bringing down down very deep, you know? Yes. In this case, if uh, all, all this is different situation with different devotees, so uh, we can yes. see every moment is different. So. And to increase the relish, if you have, there is a feast, you it's also yeah, feast, like to share. Yes. Hey, have you mm, take this? Take this. <laughs> Yeah, did you know this? Wow, this is special. Oh, thank you. <laughs> prashadam, this is Prashadam. Prashadam. Mercy is Prashadam, so... When the Sar Sarkis love Radha as much as or less than Krishna, then their sancha, oh, sanchari bhav. Then their chanchari bhav is called Krishna Rati. But if they love Radhika more, <coughs> then it is called Bhavolasa. Bhavolasa Rati. The Mandaris are endowed with this Bhavolasa Rati. Srila Ramali Takura inquired from Srimati Janava Takura about this Barula Sati. Now it's coming really. Ramali Takura said. Please, please tell me more about Babula Sarati. Mother Janava said, Listen carefully, O son. Babula Sarati can only be found 
in Vrindavan. Vrindavana, per Kishora, adolescent Krishna, paternally sports with Kishori, adolescent, adolescent Radhika, cannot be perceived even by the Devas. Shri Rupa Manjari and Shri Rati Manjari are absorbed in the ecstasy of devotional service day and night. They are all endowed with Bhavula Sarati and they are happy only when the divine couple is happy. They don't know anything else but that. They are completely equal to Srimati. Only their bodies are different. They are one soul and one life are and they are all controlled by Radha. Please again. So yes. nice. I want just to say before Sorry. that this is the Srimati Ramai Thakur inquired from Srimati Janavi Thakurani. So we are, she, 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 she is our, uh, in our Guru Parampara. Mm -hmm. So this is this wife is of, um, wife of uh, Nityananda. Nityananda. So it's, it's very connected with. It's like uh, when we go Gurudev Param Gurudev Param Param Gurudev, we came to Shimati Janavi. So it's very very connected with us. So obviously this world, uh, knowing that is even more connected in in light, yes. in enlightening. So, Sheila. Ramai Thakur inquired from Shrimati Janavi Thakurani about this Bhavala Sarati. Ramai Thakur said, Please tell me more about Bhavala Sarati. Mother Janavi said, Listen carefully, O son. <laughs> Bhavala Sarati can only be found in Vrindavana. Vrindavana where Kishora, adolescent Krishna, eternally sports with Kishori, adolescent Radhika, <laughs> cannot be preserved even by the Devas. Shri Rupa Manjari and Shri Rati Manjari are absorbed in the ecstasy of devotional service day and night. Day and night. They are all endowed with Bhavo Lasarati and they are happy only when the divine couple is happy. They don't know anything else but that. They are completely equal to Srimati. Only their bodies are different. They are one soul and one life, life are, and they are all controlled by Radha. Controlled by love, of course. They are one soul and one life air. One who wants to relish Krishna's sweetness to the utmost must take complete shelter of Sri Radha. I repeat, one who wants to relish Krishna's sweetness to the utmost must take complete shelter of Sri Radha. Sripad Prabhupada Saraswati writes in Radha Rasa Sudaniti, verse 200. 
first A. Where is Rada? So, where is Rada? Who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas? And where is Krishna, who always lives in between her butt like breasts? Sri Radharani says, if you want to see my Sundara, my beautiful Krishna, you must take full shelter of my lotus feet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here is the secret, secret which is not mentioned even in the Veda. For us, for our, who are completely without money to buy anything. I want to say that. I would like to read it again. Yes. Where is Radha, who is hard to perceive by following the Vedas, and where is Krishna, who always lives in between her butt-like breasts? Sri Radharani says, If you want to see my Sundar, my beautiful Krishna, you must take full shelter of my lotus feet. And why do the Manjaris love Krishna? Because he is Radharani's Galant. He loves her. Can I share what came to me now? Yes, of course. I'm really a beginner. Me too. What I hear, what I feel in this moment is that you can find a kind of Krishna at Varaka, wherever. But when you want to see her, Sundara, he is the beautiful, the nicest, the charming, I don't find the words in English. This special Mohan Krishna, who is totally falling in love with her, and she is totally falling in love with him. This special Krishna, Sundara, the beautiful one. Therefore, he meets Adarani. There is said that uh, why why always is mentioned Krishna here, no? Because everyone, if if one who arrive to the spiritual, in, um, who, who start to make spiritual question in this material world, usually start from God, no? Krishna. So everybody knows Krishna at least theoretically, no? Uh, and they want to attain Krishna, and also in Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Gurudev explain us, 10-10, when we uh, sign with Krishna that we accept him, from that moment we don't have any more doubts. And from that moment he said, okay, you sign, now I will teach you everything. But actually I will not teach you, I will give you to Radharani and she will teach you. So if you want really to attain Krishna, we can see you know, many devotees, you know, if we go to Vrindavan, they all, many of them, they want Krishna, Krishna, they, they are, uh, decide to attain Krishna. But here is a secret that even if you going on Krishna, for Krishna, you will not, never uh, catch him. You cannot catch him because he is naturally attracted by love. He will come alo alone if uh, you show some love because this is only thing what is missing in his life everything else he have already so if we are in connection with radharani and also krishna give us in connection with radharani and from that moment he will take care about us we don't need separately to think about any more else 
because like Gurudev said, you know, if we are we are in that mom from that moment, like uh, uh, doggy and cat of the lo- loved person, so is uh, he will take naturally care about us. We we should just think about how to make them sir, happy. Can you please repeat, only repeat this sentence, then you will catch or see what Krishna, what this sentence? What is written here? Yes, please. Uh-huh. That is, sorry. Sri Radha says, if you want to see my Sundara, you must take full shelter of my lotus feet. And why do the Manjaris love Krishna? Because he is Sri Radhika's galant. We take full shelter of Radharani and we are the Manjaris, the shadows, then she gives us her eyes to see him through her eyes. You can see him through her eyes. Nobody else can miss. Only the Manjaris. Is it right? That's what I feel. Actually, actually he said that when uh, Radha and Krishna are in, meet, in meeting, Manjari can can feel through Radharani. They feel the feelings of Radharani. So, when they are together, they can feel even the feelings of Krishna. So, because of that, their relish is so big, so uh, inconceivable. This is, this is, this is, uh, because they can feel Krishna's feeling, and they can feel also Radha's feelings. So, mm, nobody else can feel that. In one sense, we can say the Manjari are in the relation, they are superior even, even to Radha and Krishna. Yes, because they, in the same moment they are cool headed. They check the situation now because the help is needed. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. they, they are relishing these feelings, these intense feelings, but cool headed. Yeah, cool-headed, <laughs> and, and and Krishna uh, is not cool at all. Yeah. Yes. He will he will uh, mm, um, fall, in coma. fall in coma. Fall in coma. Yeah, right. Doesn't find unconscious, but uh, Manjari cannot uh, <coughs> um, lose the coolness. They cannot lose uh, the coolness because they must serve. Yes. Yes. They, they never lose the coolness. This is also incredible. So they have such a capacity, no? And we, we, if we see for in the life of Prabhupada, mm. it's only Manjari can do something like that. Nobody else. Remember, Krishna in the Vracha forest is the Prana Vallabha of my Swamini. First Radha, then Shyam. When Krishna makes any trouble, we'll take him by the hand and throw him out of the kunj. We are the maidservants of Radha. Why do the Kinkaris love Krishna? Because he is the lover of Radharani. <laughs> if, there, if there will be stone, a post of Krishna, it will be the same things. So no, no feeling separately. Only on, in connection with uh, Radharani feeling, and for her pleasure, and for their pleasure. Because if their pleasure, Radharani will be more pleasure. So servant of the of the goddess of love. So Radharani is big heart, heart. No? And you are smaller heart, which are contributing to the big heart. I think we should finish. Yeah. Yes. 
So let this take us in the meditation of our day and have a blessed, precious day. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe.